Welcome to Heartland Dual Sport. In today's video, we're going to be doing something kind of fun. We're going to be doing a review. We haven't done a gear review in a while, and I thought that would be really fun because we know that there's a lot of guys that are buying the 2023s. They're gearing up to try to maybe go do some multi-day camping. They're gearing up to go do some multi-day camping, that kind of stuff. So what we're going to do today is we're going to be doing a one-year review on the 3D cycle parts side pannier plates that are made for the adventure models so that way you could convert over into soft bags so let's get to the video Guys, this is real simple. It's gonna, it's, it's a real quick process to change these out, and I'm gonna show you how quick it is. But just snapping my fingers, <laughs> that that didn't work. I was trying to, you know, you'll see the guys do the snapping of the fingers or whatever, and then all of a sudden the parts on their bike. Um, let's try it again. Uh, again, after all that, guys, you can't even see the bags on the bike anyways, because by the time I get my big fat head up here so that you can see me, you can't really see the bags anyways, but that's okay. What we're going to do is we're going to be basically doing a full review on these, and I'm going to show you how I'm using the 3D Cycle parts plates to attach my soft luggage. I'm going to explain to you the reasons why I use the soft luggage as well as tell you who I think these plates are for. We're gonna go over the good, the bad, the ugly about these things, guys. And we're gonna, we're actually gonna do this a little bit different than some of the ones we've done in the past. We're gonna be doing a point system. There's a total of 60 points that you could earn with this particular product review. And we're gonna to get to see straight up front, how does the 3D cycle parts perform, the overall performance, everything about them, and let's see how many points they get totaled up. One of the biggest things for me, guys, and if you've been watching our channel for a long time, is you know that I, I use the hard bags that come on the Adventure model. And to me, one of the things that I was thinking about when I was looking at the soft luggage, and we initially started out with the Tusk, and then we went back with our original Moscow Moto gear that we used to run on our Honda Africa Twin. One of the things that I really love about running on a long adventure trip, the soft luggage versus the hard luggage, is I can pack more stuff in it. You guys have watched my videos, and if you haven't, I'll put a link up here somewhere where you can go back and kind of see how we do our camping setup. We've done several videos on that. The other thing, and we're not gonna turn this into an argument today, guys, but there's always the pros and cons. of If you were to go down on your bike, what's safer for you and your bike, whether you have the soft luggage on or the hard luggage, Kawasaki kind of changed this up a little bit with their plastic bags that they have because it's not going to be nearly as hard on your leg what you if a plastic bag hit you as the hard aluminum cases would be. And you guys are familiar with them, the ones that the guys, most everybody on a BMW or whatever else is running, those really big, bulky, hard bags. And there's pros and cons to both. And for me, like I say, we're not going to get into the argument of it, we're gonna just stick with, I love the soft luggage for the long trips, number one, because I can put more stuff in it, and then I can also adjust the weight, distribute the weight a little bit easier because you're not tied into a specific space, and I can put tools down in the bottom of both bags, keeping the weight low, and I really, really like that. And then also, if you guys, and you can't see them right now, but we'll zoom in on it later, I use a couple of extra rock straps to attach the plates to the bike, and I actually use the, what you would call the hand grip back here, and I'll run a big, thick rock strap all the way around it down to the bottom of the bag, and it just kind of helps hold it up tighter against the, against the bike. For starters, one of the main things that I really like about how these plates are designed, number one, as you can look and see here, you've got a bunch of different holes that are pre-cut from the factory at 3D Cycle Parts. And these holes that are already from the factory give you a lot more places that you can lash stuff down. This bag here actually belongs on the right-hand side. So you've got the three-pin system. So you've got the three pin system. Again, these line up with the factory adventure bars, which was really important to me. 
because I didn't want to have to buy another set of luggage racks to put my soft bags on for the longer road trips. So that right there, the key feature in and of itself, um, five points right off the bat. I mean, that's actually awesome. The second part, and it, and it kind of goes together with the first part here, with all these different holes that you can lash, you can easily attach like the tusk bags and you guys, if you go back and watch our first video, when we went to the East Coast, I was running tusk bags. The Moscow Moto bags actually have a bolt system. So that's what these bolts are here, if you can see them. And that's how those bags mount to the Moscow Moto rack system. And I've pulled them off so that I could use the 3D cycle parts because I like it just as well as the Moscow Moto. So again, along with the, the holes that are already there so that you can lash the other bags on, or in my case, what we've done when we swapped the Tusk over to the Moscow Moto, you've got the holes here, and I just had to drill a couple other holes to go ahead and, and because that this system bolts to the plate carrier, or to the, to the plates. Uh, again, I love how easy they clip on and off it that just makes life so much easier and for me it makes it a lot easier because now you're not messing around with buying an additional rack to run soft luggage for a trip and then trying to figure out how are you going to mount your original bags back on all right so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to break this video down like i'd mentioned before and we're going to go ahead and get into the good for a i've got these things are well cut out. They're nice, they look professionally done. The way that they've cut out the, the little blocks that actually mount to your adventure bars that are already on your bike, your adventure luggage rack that's already on your bike. And then you've got a pin system. And the pin system works real nice. It, it's twofold because these blocks are cut out really, really precise to where they actually click due to a friction fit. And you can hear, hear it, it, I mean, they snap on, and then these little pins here go right in, and that's going to keep it from falling off or vibrating off. I think he did a great job piecing this all together and make it to where it was very user-friendly. Again, the plenty of holes, the thing that I like about it, you guys have watched our videos, I always take a bunch of extra stuff. I like the extra places that I can lash stuff on. On the other side over here, you can't see it, but I actually have a tire changing kit. In fact, I'll show you that real quick because it's part of the pros and cons to this bag. With the extra lashing points, you also have the ability to do like I did. This is going to be a fender bag that you would see on the old DRZs or you guys that are used to running the fender bags up on the front fender. This is a fender bag. It's got a couple of tire changing tools in it. And this is on the off muffler side, so it kind of helps balance your bike out. But as you can see, it lashes on just nice and easy using the holes that, are already, that already came in the plates. And I think that's... Again, I think that's really well thought out, and it's it's a, another five points for him on that. And again, even with this bag on here, it still goes on and off real easy onto the bike, and you'll hear it click. And I'll again, I'll do a, some B roll so you guys can see this up close. But it's friction fit. So they just hang on. Again, the pins are for safety. Uh, the pins are a great idea. Now, while we're talking about the pins, here's where the bad comes in, which is actually okay. But if you see this as a little Olight, you guys know that I love my Olight stuff. But what happened when I was on my trip to Michigan and back, because this little key ring, key fob, always stays in my front tank bag that way i got a little flashlight just in case my headlamps out or something like that i've always got one that's ready and handy but i lost one of the rings and you can see this one's kind of working its way out too when you're riding and the vibration and everything i have no idea how it's even possible but i ended up losing one of the rings on the end of this the problem with that is they could actually they could actually fall all the way through. 
Luckily that didn't happen to me. And I did like say, have an extra key ring with me. I think it would be actually a good idea and maybe, maybe room for improvement would be, and, and this would be something you could do as an owner yourself, but maybe figure out a way to zip tie or even safety wire one of the little key ring up into one of the slots on the, on the, on the plates so that number one, they shouldn't be able to back out. And I, again, I have no idea how that even happened. I, you guys know I've got crazy weird luck. But if, if it if you used maybe some safety wire or something like that and tied it to one of the one of the holes that you could use for lashing, maybe use it to wire the little pin, the 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 little ring that goes on the pin. Um, again, that's no I don't think that's a fault with the design of the plates. I don't think it's a fault with the design of or the whole idea of this entire system. It's just it's a mechanical piece. I'm sure that he buys these wherever he gets them because I don't think these are going to be something that he's actually fabricating and it's just weird luck. I mean one of mine fell off who and again no big deal I didn't lose the pin and I just used my Olight flashlight that I already had and that actually works out pretty good because now you've got a flashlight right there on the side of your bike over there by the tire changing gear that I'm using anyways. And you've got a light over there in case you needed to change your flat or fix a flat in the dark. As far as improvements, that's exactly what I was gonna say. If, if you could figure out a way or if they figured out a way to kind of cord those to the plates themselves so you didn't lose them, that might be beneficial, especially if you, <laughs> if you are having to hike your bags and again guys that's one of the perks about when you're moto camping you can pull these off your bike and carry your bags up into your tent or whatever at night just be cautious with the pins because that's what's holding them on your bike and now for the ugly and I, I think anytime that you're doing a, a gear review and you're kind of starting out the title the good the bad the ugly there's going to be some ugly. Guys, I've got nothing. I, I think that, again, like I said, I think he did a great job on designing these. I really and truly have enjoyed using these. And, and the one thing, as many of you guys know, the way that I ride, especially when I'm doing short day trips, I want my hard luggage on because I can put my drone and my camera in their own little bags in the hard bags and to me it's just added comfort safety if you will and i like how easy it is to leave my camping gear that i'm going to always be using and my soft bags these go up here they store up in a shelf at the top of the motorcycle area of the youtube shop and it just makes my life so much easier so again who do i think these bags are for I, or <laughs> again, who do I think these plates are for? I think these plates for anybody that are looking for an option that's affordable, that you could mount some soft luggage to your bike, especially if you've already got the adventure bike and you don't want to spend more money and, and buy another luggage rack system. These work flawlessly. Again, I've gone from, uh, you guys can watch the videos. We've, we've ridden all over the place. Um, and, and the plates were with me the whole time. I didn't use the hard bags on any of my long adventure trips. Again, that's for, I used the hard bags for commuting back and forth to work when I was working at the little tractor supply. You guys know that I've quit the tractor supply so I can kind of do the YouTube full time. Uh, <laughs> and depending on how that goes the remainder of this year, I may be looking for another job. We'll just see. Um, I'm hanging in there and being hopeful. Um, again, guys, like if, if you're look, if you're like me and you're thinking about doing a lot of moto camping trips or, or even some long adventure trips, these plates will make your life so much easier. You do still have to go buy the bags, but as you can see, we're running the Moscow moto. Those are probably overkill for a for a KLR, but they came off of my Honda Africa Twin. And back when I was working, I had a lot more money than I, than I do now, so um, I'm using them. I did end up trading those Tusk bags that I had to a buddy of mine, 
and I traded them for some boudin. And if you guys don't know what boudin is, I'll do a video about that because, man, that's some good stuff. It's a Cajun sausage, essentially, a Louisiana Cajun sausage. And, and I traded, oh, I don't know how many boudins we got, but we got a bunch. It was well worth the trade to me. But again, guys, <clears throat> out of the point system, if we were to go back and add all these up, you got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. We're at 57 points total out of 60. I don't think you can score any better than that, guys. Again, if you like our video, be sure and share this with your buddy. If you know somebody that's got the, especially if you know somebody that's got the adventure model and they're thinking about running some soft luggage for moto camping trips, that kind of stuff, or maybe they're wanting to do hardcore adventure stuff and they don't want to break their plastic bags, be sure and share this video with them. Again, guys, we appreciate your likes, comments, and subscribes. May you have a blessed week, and let's go ride and have some fun.